What's up guys, this is Sonny, back with another video and today real quick I just want to show you guys a quick overclocking guide. So basically if you have a Ryzen 7 CPU or Ryzen 5 CPU, uh, basically an easy overclocking guide for if anybody basically. So if you never overclocked and you want to overclock your CPU today, you know, you got nothing to worry because I'm going to show you how to overclock your Ryzen 7, uh, 1700, that's the one I'll be overclocking. and. Uh, if you guys have any other question, let's you know, just leave in the comment below and I'll be more than happy to answer you guys. And so the motherboard I'll be using for this uh, overclocking guide, uh, Gigabyte AX370 Gaming 5 motherboard. Now you can use the same method with your uh, Gigabyte um, AX370 Gaming K5 motherboard and the Gaming K7 motherboard. So guys, let's just go on with the video and if you guys have any other question, don't forget to leave in the comment below. Like I said, I'll be more than happy to help you guys. Alright guys, so the first thing first, I'm really sorry, I don't have a capture card at this moment. So basically, I'm recording uh, the screen with my camera. Uh, eventually, I will get a capture card, but at this moment, I don't have one. So please bear with me. So first thing, what I recommend you guys to do... Um, before you start overclocking, first thing what you need to do, jump into save and exit and then load optimized default. So basically you want to reset the BIOS. That's the first thing you want to do. After that, we can jump into MIT. So that's motherboard intelligent tweaker. Okay. And then from there, we jump into advanced frequency setting. Okay. By the way, we are running the latest virus version FD. Now, as you guys can see, CPU core uh, ratio, right there, CPU core ratio. Now, first thing I do recommend you guys, uh, if you guys have like a Ryzen uh, 7 CPU or Ryzen 5 CPU, try and see uh, if you can overclock the CPU, you know. Um, without uh, playing around with the voltage. Now, first thing what I like to do, just, uh, you know, try out and see, okay? So before we play around with the voltage, what we basically do, just see how far can you go without, uh, without like, um, without having to like mess around with the voltage. So I know the CPU I have, Ryzen 7 1700, I can overclock this uh, CPU to 3.6 gigahertz, as you guys can see right here without playing around with the voltage okay so let's just overclock uh, to 3.6 gigahertz right now so as you guys can see 3.6 gigahertz and um, for this overclock um, I know I can overclock my RAMs to like uh, 2666 without playing around with the timing and latency basically I don't have to touch nothing so let's just XMP profile one and then auto 26 and that should be it. I don't have to play around with basically nothing and real quick Let's just jump into advanced CPU core setting and Then as you guys can see right here, okay 3.6 gigahertz and what we need to basically uh, Disable uh, we can leave uh, AMD cool and quiet function uh, Core performance boost. I don't you know we can leave that now what I will disable global C state control so I'll just disable that and everything else could be same uh, let's just go back right now and then go back again go to advanced voltage settings and then as you guys can see the stock volt uh, the CPU running right now 1.22500 okay now what we need to do here because we are not playing around with the voltage right so basically we are just gonna we're just gonna key in the exact voltage here 1.22500 okay basically same thing okay and then what we need to do we don't have to touch nothing else here CPU uh, V core uh, lo load line coloration high okay and then VAXG load line coloration high. That should be it. Now we can go back. We don't have to. We don't have to touch nothing else. Okay. Uh, we can go to advanced memory settings. 
and basically you don't have to do anything because I know the memories I have um, crucial uh, actually I'm not I'm not using the crucial ones right now uh, I have the Corsair Vengeance at uh, 3000 megahertz but I can't get to 3000 megahertz uh, so I'm just gonna leave it on 2666 and then basically what we'll do we'll go to save and exit and see what happened so right now basically we just you know I just overclocked the Ryzen 7 1700 to 3.6 gigahertz without raising the voltage okay so right now this processor is basically running faster than Ryzen 7 1700X because the base clock for the Ryzen 7 1700X I believe 3.4 gigahertz but we are running right now 3.6 gigahertz as you guys can see we did boot and let's just jump in to the desktop and hold on because uh, alright and then we'll just run Cinebench real quick so I can show you guys um, basically uh, you every time you overclock the CPU you can run Cinebench because Cinebench does put a uh, stress uh, you know does put the CPU in like a lot of stress while uh, you know rendering uh, so you know you can basically but I do recommend you guys to use like real bench or data, data 64 or something to really stress test the CPU but that's like running Cinebench basically will give you like a quick um, you know it's basically a quick test so you can see how the CPU is running if it's stable enough alright so I don't know if you guys can see so let's run real quick should I move it this way a little bit alright so basically if I can finish this run okay at least one at least I know it's stable but the best way I figure out uh, order for you to see if the CPU is running stable uh, what I basically do every time I overclock my CPU I render you know one of the video and as you guys can see uh, the score right now is 1588 versus stock um, 1403 so with without playing around with the voltage just uh, you know raising um, the raising the core clock to 3.6 gigahertz and just key in the stock voltage okay Go, you know going from auto to just key in uh, 1.22500 we managed to you know get 1588 in Cinebench so you know so if you're somebody let's put it this way you don't like overclocking your CPU you can do that okay you don't have to play around with the voltage you don't have to do anything so let's just jump so, in the file right. so again before we start overclocking I do recommend you guys to go save and exit load optimize default okay so basically I just resetted the virus now we jump into advanced frequency settings again see I reset everything so now the CPU I got I'm not lucky enough to overclock the CPU all the way to 4 gigahertz I tried my best it doesn't matter what voltage I put in it I went up to 4 point, uh, <laughs> I went up to 1.46 volt a voltage and after that I did not push it because it didn't you know basically I couldn't even boot and get into the uh, like a desktop uh, you know so I couldn't get into the my you know it didn't work basically so I can overclock the CPU uh, Ryzen 7 1700 to 3.9 gigahertz and that's what we're gonna aim for right now so 3.9 gigahertz okay as you guys can three, see 3.9 gigahertz and then uh, we can uh, overclock the memory by turning on XMP uh, and then 2666 ah sorry 2666 and then from there we go to advanced CPU core setting okay like I say the only thing I do disable is uh, the global C state control so just disable that and then go back 
go back again and now we'll just jump into advanced voltage settings now as you guys can see uh, the stock voltage right now is 1.22500 okay now I managed to uh, overclock uh, I managed to uh, in a stable uh, my, uh, the 1700 Ryzen 1700 with 1.37 volt okay so again we'll jump into CPU vCore load collaboration high and the VAXG load collaboration high and we can just go to save and exit setup that should be it guys now we are uh, that's how easy basically that's how fast you can overclock your Ryzen 7 1700 I do recommend you guys to get a, uh, a gigabyte uh, AX gaming uh, a gigabyte uh, I do recommend you guys to get a gigabyte AX uh, 370 gaming 5 motherboard or gaming K5 motherboard or gaming K7 because really easy to overclock your CPU and everything uh, compared to like uh, Asus or any other you know I do recommend uh, the gigabyte uh, AX 370 motherboard right so let's see Alright, so as you guys can see, I managed to overclock the CPU all the way to 3.9 GHz. Now, like I say, I can't go more than 3.9 GHz. Every time I tried to hit 4 GHz, I was keep on crashing even though I was uh, keying the voltage 1.46 and I don't want to cross 1.46 because uh, the voltage recommended by AMD 1.37 and if you cross uh, you know more than 1.37 you basically hurting your CPU even more okay by overclocking you are definitely hurting your CPU but if let's be to say if AMD said 1.37 you shouldn't go more than that that's mean that will definitely hurt your CPU so as you guys can see with 3.9 gigahertz with Cinebench score is around 17.1 that's really good guys that's why I do recommend you guys get yourself a Ryzen 7 1700 over 1700X or 1800X because basically right now we are almost pair with 1800X now if my CPU did went up to 40 gigahertz it will perform almost same as an overclocked 1800X so really good alright so let me just show you guys temperature real quick and we'll run the uh, test again well uh, okay so for the temperature uh, we'll be using Ryzen master as you guys can see right here okay and mind you uh, the Cinebench score will be lower because I have uh, Ryzen master uh, running so let's just zoom in a little bit for you guys so you guys can see the temperature so as you guys can see right now idling around 45 celsius 43 you know around there so let's just start cinnabench and let's see how high so right now 62 64 celsius 65 celsius right there guys 65 Celsius yep okay so the cooler I have right now installed uh, Corsair H105 uh, hydro liquid cooler it's pretty good cooler I do recommend you guys getting this not expensive cooler so as you guys can see right now just because we have the uh, Ryzen master running okay uh, cinnamon score did went down to around 16 uh, around 16 uh, 58 okay so let's run again and let's see if I can zoom in a little bit for you guys uh, a little bit more okay so right there if you guys can see 
okay I'm running the Cinebench right now and the temperature uh, went up the max temp well, was around 66 Celsius right now hovering around 65 Celsius 66 Celsius all right all right guys so that should be it for this video if you guys do like this video and if this video did help you anyway please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up also subscribe to the channel for the upcoming content and let's just real quick uh, you know go through the specs so basically the motherboard we use for this overclocking guide Gigabyte AX 370 Gaming 5 motherboard. Now you can use the same method, overclocking method for Gigabyte AX 370 uh, Gaming uh, K5 motherboard or Gigabyte AX 370 Gaming K7 motherboard. Also the CPU uh, we use uh, for this uh, overclocking method, a Ryzen 7 1700. The base clock is around 3. Point gigahertz and we managed to overclock this CPU all the way to 3.9 gigahertz and the RAMs I have in this build um, Corsair Vengeance uh, uh, 3000 megahertz and we managed to uh, basically overclock the RAMs only up to like 26 uh, 66 megahertz uh, without touching the latency or timing or anything now if you do play around with the setting you can overclock this RAMs maybe all the up to 3000 megahertz or uh, 2900 megahertz but uh, for this video we are focusing on CPU overclocking more than uh, RAM overclocking so like I said guys if you do like this video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe of course this should be it Peace.